What do you think of this property right here, huh? What do you think about it? What do you think? Would you like for this particular property to pay for your life, right? This could be your only job, living here at home, not going to work, just staying here. That could be your only job, right? What? How does that work? Well, you could run it as a house hack short-term rental, right? That's what my guy Malik is doing. Malik, you are out there in Arizona, and you're like, dude, the pricing in Cleveland is so low, I am going to move halfway across the country, and I want my job to be house hacking a short-term rental. No problem, brother. You ask, I provide. I'm going to show you how you can live off of this particular property. I'm going to show you how you can come to Cleveland, own this bad boy, and not have to spend any more than like six grand. And this would be enough to cover your living expense and pay for your food, your water, not much else. But the swing's insane. I'm going to show you how to make almost 500% on your money with you house hacking this Airbnb. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Surviving off of one Airbnb investment. Airbnb investment. Now, this could also work with, uh, you know, VRBO or any of the short-term rentals, right? Like Airbnb, that's just like a nice catchphrase name, right? They got the biggest name recognition. It's like Kleenex, right? It's actually a name brand. It's really a tissue. But short-term rentals, right? This particular short-term rental, you could live off of this. You could survive off of this. You're only going to need about six Gs, right? Anybody can do this, all right? Now, this is a pretty nice property, okay? It is a duplex, and it is located in a nice little place called Elyria, Ohio. That is in the Cleveland market, for those of you uh, who are like, what in the hell is Elyria? Cleveland market, folks. But you know what? There's a bunch of markets across the USA that this particular strategy uh, will work, right? So as you see here, uh, we got some furniture. The current owner, they're going to be moving out, right? What we have, the situation here, we have an owner and then a month-to-month -month, uh, tenant in the other unit. They're both going to be moving out, right? And then when they move out, you're going to move in, and then you're going to run the other unit as a short-term rental property, and you're going to manage that because that's going to become your job now. You're going to be able to live off of that. You ain't going to have to pay rent, and if you don't want to, you don't have to get a job to, to feed yourself, right? Now, if you want to do some cool stuff, uh, have a little bit of extra income, you probably should, you know, get a job and do a little something else. But this is a great way to get started, right? This is enough to keep you fed, to keep you alive, okay? So as you can see, we got a pretty decent house. It's nice, clean, crisp basement, right? You got a pretty darn new-looking furnace, new hot water tank, right? This thing is looking spiffy. Here's the other unit, all right? Looking fresh, okay? This was before that other tenant moved into it. Now there's a person there, but they'll be gone, right? You'll be getting rid of them. And you're going to be rocking this thing as a short-term rental property. And you're going to be able to live off of this. You're going to live there, okay? And not only is it going to cover all of your living costs, it's also going to pay for your lifestyle, okay? Here's how the numbers are going to work out, right? The address, it's uh, 112 Longfellow, Leary, Ohio, right? Uh, one of those units is a 2-1. That's where you're going to live. The other unit is a 2-2. Two -two. You're going to be able to generate gross rental income of $55,800 a year if you were able to rent it 100% of the time. But this show ain't about fluff. This show ain't about telling you guys stuff that can't actually happen in the real world. No, no, no. This show is about teaching you guys real estate investment strategies with real properties using real numbers, using numbers that are actually possible in the real world. So allow me to show you the breakdown. 
I'm anticipating many, many costs associated with that 55800 right? Some of which are going to be cleaning, some of which are going to be vacancy, right? I factored in about 38% of the time this will be vacant, right? This is short-term rentals. People don't rent them every single day, okay? Additionally, we got taxes, insurance, you got liability, or I mean uh, taxes, insurance, utilities, right? You got liability coverage, uh, that would be your insurance, right? All that stuff, right? So at the end of the day, it's actually going to cost you of that fifty-five eight hundred about almost thirty thousand dollars of that, folks. Almost thirty thousand dollars of that is going to get eaten up, right? You're going to be a business owner now. This is your business, okay? So your true profit is about twenty-five thousand eight hundred sixty-four dollars. Note that lawn care is at zero and PM is at zero, and cleaning, repairs, and maintenance are at zero. Why? Because you ain't paying anybody to do that. Because that's your job now. You're buying yourself a job. If you got the dream of staying home, making money off of this, you're going to have to do a little work, right? You're living there. You're running this Airbnb property, right? You're going to be utilizing Airbnb, VRBO, apartment finder, all kinds of stuff, right? And you should, for your troubles, net about twenty-five grand. Now, the investment itself, that's what's great about the Cleveland market. We're cheap. You can do this, run these numbers in any market in the USA. But a lot of people move to places like Cleveland because they're so darn cheap because you could do this whole thing with less than 6 k right? You're going to put down $5,775 using an FHA loan. Right, the bank's gonna kick in the other hundred fifty nine thousand. All you need to do is come up with five thousand seven hundred seventy five dollars. Right, that's enough to pay for the hundred sixty five thousand dollar investment. Right, when people buy rental properties like this one just to run them as traditional rental properties, they have to put down twenty five percent. But if you're actually gonna live there, the terms are more amazing. Three and a half percent. That's all you need. Five thousand nine hundred and whatever the hell I just said, right? Five. What did I say? Five thousand seven hundred seventy-five dollars. It's all you need to own this thing, right? So now your mortgage payments cover your mortgage, not your landlord's mortgage, okay? And then you get the extra twenty-five k on top of that, right? So. When you factor in your new mortgage, which is actually paying you off, at the end of the day, at the end of your mortgage, you are looking at pure profit in your hand, 16180 Not to mention the 9600 that is going towards that mortgage is paying down your debt, not your landlord's debt. And it gets even better. You also have to factor in the fact that you are a human being. What does a human being require? A human being requires food, water, and air, but I don't provide none of that shit. Additionally, what's more applicable here, you need shelter, right? Food, water, and air, you're on your own, motherfuckers. But shelter, I can help you with that, right? You would normally, to get a unit like this, be paying about $900 a month, or $10,800 a year for shelter. But now, your shelter is being covered by your new business, right? So in reality, that's like a swing of 26976 off of a $5,775 investment. If you actually run the numbers from a cash-on-cash -cash return perspective, that's like a 467% return. Now, there's a couple things uh, that I did not factor in, right? That 5775 that is going to be uh, your down payment. But, like, this is a short-term rental now, so you do need to furnish that other unit, right? Uh, if I was doing this, because Holton Wise, we do provide full service uh, short-term rental property management services and renovations, we would probably spend, like, twenty twenty-five thousand dollars $25,000 furnishing that unit, right? You're going to need to do all that on your own because you're running this, right? There's no reason for you to hire a property manager. You live in the motherfucker. you got to manage that. It's your job now. Uh, so you're going to need to furnish it. How you're uh, going to do that, that's up to you, right? You could do it a bunch of different ways, right? Uh, you could do the whole thing on a credit card with no money out of your pocket, bro. Uh, if you go to a furniture store, you just ask for the store credit. They'll give you like probably like five grand, 10 grand, 15 grand on a card with no interest for like five years, dude. They will give uh, furniture financing to anybody, right? Uh, financing furniture is like financing a car. If you are alive, they will give you the loan. You might not even have to be alive, dude. I'm pretty sure car dealerships will give a corpse a loan, right? 
Uh, maybe you're buying secondhand furniture. Maybe your mom is giving you her couch. However, you're going to work that out. You got to figure out a way to furnish this thing to a level that's acceptable to allow you to achieve that $150 a night average. But, folks, this is how you do it, right? So if you want to live off of one Airbnb and one Airbnb alone, this is how you do it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.